And it's important for us to understand that if we're going to see ourselves in the right way, we need to see ourselves how God sees us, because if we don't see ourselves the way that God sees us, we will never go to him for help. Are you tracking with me this morning? Some of you that just went over. Get, let, me, let me say it this way. We won't come to God if we don't see ourselves in the right way. If you have a cough and a headache and you check yourself and you have a fever and you feel like that's not going away, there's enough indications in your life that you're sick. And because you're sick, you want that to change. So what do you do? You go and see a doctor. If you don't see symptoms and you don't think you're sick, then you'll never go to the doctor. This is the same thing spiritually. A lot of people think, well, I'm not really that bad of a person. You know, I, I, I go to church every once in a while. I pray every once in a while. I don't do what maybe my neighbor does, but I'm not that bad. And they maybe point to somebody in their life that's worse than them, and they say, that person, they really have problems. But me, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm pretty good of a person. Can I tell you, that may make us as people feel good to think that and say that. But can I tell you what the Bible declares about us? The Bible says that we're wretched sinners that have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Do you know what that means? The Bible says there's no one good, not even one. So when people say, well, I'm pretty good, the Bible says, nope. They're like, well, I know I'm able. The Bible says that about, no, 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 no. The Bible says, nope. They're like, we're, we're all pretty bad is what we are. We blow it, we lie, we cheat, we steal. And you may not have done all the sins that your neighbor has done, but you and I have still sinned and fallen short. There is not a, let me, let me put you at ease this morning, this afternoon. There is not a single person in this room that hasn't sinned. Now breathe out. <sighs> no one, no one that's been on the stage, no one that's behind the scenes, no one that's sitting next to you is like, no, I just, I just don't sin anymore. No, you know what the Bible says? If someone's like, I don't sin anymore, the Bible goes, liar. So John says, this first, second, third, third John are like, if someone says they are without sin, that they're a liar. That's what it's saying. And so what the Bible wants us to know is, no, no, we do have a problem. We have blown it. We have fallen short. And if you don't think that, here's the, here's the, here's the damage. If we don't think that, then we'll never go to Jesus, the physician. This leper couldn't argue when he looked in the mirror and saw that he was sick. He looked and thought, man, I got boils on my skin. I can't feel anything. It would de de destroy the nerves. He, his skin was deformed. And Luke tells us that this was an advanced form of leprosy. So his nose is rotting off. It would smell. I mean, you would reek of the skin that was destroying, the internal organs and the bones would be uh, destroyed and deteriorating. I mean, this affects every part of who you were. When he looked in the mirror, he didn't have to know, I think you're, I think you're just kind of sick. No, he was sick. He had a disease. He needed help. And that's important because he needed to recognize that he was in a desperate place that was hopeless without him going to the feet of Jesus. You know, I talk with people all the time, and one of the things I've realized is that the way that God often brings people to him is by bringing them through a low valley in their life when they get desperate enough to do something that they would have never done in another season. And they're so broken, and they're so lost, and they're so miserable that they start to say, maybe I'll give God a chance. And in that thinking of maybe I'll give God a chance, in that state of humility that may not last forever, oftentimes they're brought to the feet of Jesus. They look to a place that they would have never gone to because they're desperate enough for help.